Celtic go straight into the Champions League next season. UEFA's news yesterday, that Russian clubs will not participate in European football next season, confirmed that the cinch Scottish Premiership champions, will gain automatic entry to the Champions League group stage. Celtic FC are on the brink of securing a £40 million Champions League jackpot if, of course, they seal their 10th title in 11 years as they prepare for the visit of Hearts on Saturday. The Celtic manager Postacogla has guided the team to a six-point advantage at the Premiership pinnacle with only three games to play. Against all the odds and the pundits at the start of the season. A victory over the Tyne Castle team at the weekend will all but make certain of a remarkable championship success. Impressive loanees Felipe Hotta, rated in the £6.5 million bracket by Benfica, and Cameron Carter-Vickers, valued at £6 million by Spurs, are two players already on the manager's shopping list. Looking forward to an exciting new campaign, John Hartson said, I think Angie holds all the cards now. They've got to back him. For him to take Celtic further in Europe. They've got Champions League, but can they push on and make the knockout stages? They're going straight into the group stages, can they get through? It will be very, very difficult, but to do that, they will need the quality of player. So, when you think of that and Angie goes and says I want this and I want that, then you have to think Celtic will back him. They're quite a wealthy club, anyway. Absolutely they will back him now Angie because he has already shown that his signings have done very well. And the fact, Celtic will have their original £2.5 million fee from Bournemouth for Ryan Christie topped up to £4 million after the South Coast side sealed promotion back to the Premier League last night. Then we wait to see if KT moves this summer, making Celtic FC even more money. If Mark Lawwell's player recommendations are half as good as his managerial suggestion, we can look forward to an interesting season at Celtic on the transfer front. Angie Postacogla, by his own words, worked closely with Mark Lawwell during his time at City Football Group's Yokohama F. Marinos and had a big influence in the appointment of our new head of first team scouting and recruitment. The Champions League releases funds for a top-class manager like Kanji who has proved in his first season his somebody the Celtic board and fans really trust and believe in. For the first time in years as Celtic fans, we look forward to the summer, in the knowledge no big players will be sold off for the club to make money. Celtic might actually get a good pre-season, and a few good away games this summer. It's been a while. With the hotter to Celtic contract talks already started as NG Postacogla closes in on a permanent deal. And Cameron Carter-Vickers who is currently on loan at Celtic talks also at an advanced stage, it will be how quick can Celtic get the deadwood out. By offering regular game time and Champions League action it will be an easy summer for Celtic on the transfer front. A year ago none of us had heard of Hotter, or Lear Labada, or others. Let's get it right. None of us had heard of Kyogo, or, Rio, Hatate or, Daizen, Maeda. None. If you listen o the media, Joe Hart was finished, didn't have a club and finished. Criticised when he came up here. Too old, won't do it. Yet this morning may the 4th be with you and Angie and his players, never stop. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.